Active and passive voice. The verb that expresses the action done by the subject is said to be in the active voice. The verb that expresses what is done to the subject is said to be in a passive voice. A. Transitive verb. Verb that has object. Has two voices. One, active voice. Two, passive voice. In the previous chapter, the tenses, we used the sentences with active voices a verb. Look at the following sentences. Peter reads a book. A book is read by Peter. The shopkeeper is selling apples. Apples are being sold by the shopkeeper. Mickey has plucked flowers. Flowers have been plucked by Mickey. We won the match. The match was won by us. She will arrange a flower show. The flower show will be arranged by her. Note that 1. In the first sentence of each screen, the subject is the doer of the action. 2. The verb in these sentences describes the action performed by the subject. 3. The form of the verb in these sentences is called active voice. Four. Under table B, the subject is the receiver of the action and verb describes what the subject does. Five. The form of verb in these sentences is called passive voice. Points to remember. 1. The subject is replaced by the object and the object takes the place of subject. 2. Use third form of verb past participle. 3. Use by after the past participle. 4. Passive voice is formed only of transitive verbs, verbs that has object. Intransitive verb does not form passive voice. Five. Interrogative sentences remain interrogative with passive voice. Following words, pronouns, are changed as under. 1. I into me. 2. We into us. 3. They into them. 4. He into him. 5. She 
into her.